Oh my god. Hey guys. Welcome back. Just kidding. Not welcome back because I've never done this before. I have a bad, good, good, bad habit of I need to stop looking here. Anyways, I have a really bad, good habit of buying books um, and going to this really cool bookstore every time I feel sad. And now is one of those times. So I thought maybe I'd give, sorry, I'm watching Emma Chamberlain right now. <clears throat> and I'm distracted because she's in the south of France and I love that. Anyways, now is one of those times where I, here you are, not here. I want to go to my favorite bookstore in the downtown area of the town that I currently live in. Um, and buy a book that I won't have time to read because I buy too many. I, yeah. So, come along with me. Come on. It'll be fun. Come on. Here we go. I, um, so I just got a new phone and it has MagSafe on it. With <laughs> And I got a car mount. See, because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not holding on to you right now. You are, you're magnetized. You are, you're a magnet because you're so attractive. But um, I'm obsessed with this little car mount because I can like, I can pause songs and I can skip songs. That's about it, but I think it's really cool, at least. I've never had something like that. Normally I keep my phone like in a little tray down here, um, and I can't really do anything with it without like having to pull over. I'm a very safe driver. I don't like to do anything that takes me out of driving, which I guess maybe seems a little hypocritical because I'm recording right now, but yeah, people talk on the phone and whatever while they drive. So I feel like this is the same thing, just there's no one here. Okay, so this bookstore I went to for the first time. I knew about it for like a year or two. No, I knew about it back in high school. So like three years ago. Sure, like three years ago my friends told me about it and now I'm reading again which is something I haven't done in a long time or I'm trying to read I do mostly audiobooks but I love going in buying a fresh book and telling myself I'm gonna read it they also have like cool like like old like they have old vinyls and old like cassettes and like other stuff you can find in there also this hat is on the floor of my car I usually wear or recently I've been wearing like a headband, like one of those like squiggly wire ones because I think it looks good with long hair. Kinda, it's kinda trendy right now, I think. Also, my car smells like chicken wings because I got roosters earlier today and somehow the smell just seeped into my car and it's not leaving. Oh, I just realized was that loud the entire time? I just realized re that could have been like, my vents have been on this entire time and probably right on the microphone. So you've probably heard nothing that I've said so far. Oh well. If, if you couldn't hear anything I said, here's a quick recap. My car smells like chicken. I'm going to my favorite bookstore. I... I really didn't say much of anything. I'll, I was just rambling that whole time. So you really didn't miss much. Even if you did, maybe you didn't. I don't know. Who else is a fan of roundabouts? Because I am. I like roundabouts. What am I saying? We're almost there. Oh boy. Oh, good God. Oh, 
the market is tonight. Every like Saturday or like Thursday or something like that, there is a um a market downtown, and that's why there's so much like parking unavailable right now. I say that, and I found one in like 30 seconds, but normally there's not like people here, but today there was. All right, so we're here. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna look around. We're gonna buy a book, probably, and then we're gonna leave. to ride motorcycles. section because it's quieter but I was just looking through all these vinyls I found a, a bunch of cool ones so I'll, I'll give you a haul later but I got up here and all of a sudden Taylor Swift starts playing I'm like oh yeah cool I love Taylor Swift and then another Taylor Swift song starts playing I'm like okay that's funny two in a row we're on like song like number five in a row of Taylor Swift so they must have known I, I was coming they added it they said oh John's here Time to update, update the playlist. Time to time to give him what he wants. And I think that's how they got me to put ten vinyls into my hands. I mean, they're they're only a dollar each, but still. They know their audience. This is my section. That book is about me. Um, remember how I said I was just going to get one book? Um, so I bought three books and like ten vinyls. Okay, granted, it was only like $25. That's a steal. How could you pass that up? You can't. That's the answer. You can't. You can't pass that up because reading is good for you and so is music. And that's how I'm going to justify this impulse purchase. But honestly, this store is the greatest place for me to go as an impulse buyer because I know I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money. I got like, like 15 different things, but I only spent like $25, which is still like, that's like substantial, but it's like if I bought 15 things at a different place, I could be spending over $100. So, I'll give you a tour of what I bought later, but now, we're gonna go home. We're gonna go home. Also, I don't I don't remember how much I recorded in there because honestly, I, I felt super uncomfortable like talking in there because it was, some parts were really quiet and even if nobody was around, it was like, I feel like, I feel weird just like talking to myself. Uh, I think it's just like a, like a family that owns there. This woman, she's so sweet. I see her every time I'm in there. And um, she always like makes conversation and stuff like that. And, um, okay, what is going on? Am I going the wrong way? Is this a one way? I don't think so. No, they just said you're going the wrong way and it wasn't a one way. The other way was wrong way. People. There's like homecoming going on right now for Newark and there's people everywhere taking photos and stuff. There was a couple that walked into the bookstore while I was there and the stairs there are really steep and the, the girl had some heels on 
and she was like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna fall coming down this. And the guy was like, don't worry, babe. <laughs> he was like, don't worry, babe. I'll, I'll go down first so you can fall on me. <laughs> that was just, I was just looking at my books. I, com I was like reading the backs of books, but I didn't know what I was reading because I was thinking of that moment, like for the next five to 10 minutes. Don't worry, babe. I'll let you Why can't I have someone that'll let me fall on them? Is that so much to ask for? Anyway, I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, and there's just like cats that walk around. They just have like, like two or three cats just in there, just walking around. Super chill, super nice. I'm not a, I'm not a cat person. So when I saw that the first time I was in there, I was like, oh, okay, kind of, kind of dirty, but I'm used to it now. It's, I'm okay with that. They're living their lives just like me. We're all just walking around and doing stuff. Yeah. Uh, like, I just went to the store like like a week ago and bought like four books to read. And I haven't read any of them yet, so. I'm turning into a little nerd. I don't have like the nerd abilities. Like I don't have the ability to like read a ton. Um, just cause like I have focus problems whenever I read. It's that with reading and writing, like, I'm literally an English major, but I can't write books. Or, of course I can't, no one can. A lot of people can. I can't write papers, that's what I meant to say. I can't write papers, it's really hard for me, and reading's not that hard. I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, I can't read or write. That's it. I can't, I'm just slow. Which is okay. And I'm okay with that. And you should be too. Hey, buddy! He likes to wander off. Pax, <coughs> come here. <coughs> come on, other side. Hi. What are you doing out here? You see me behind. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And we're back. Oh, 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 you're freaking out. I know. Just chill out. Yay! Boop. Okay, I don't know where to put. This is like under my chair. That's probably, no. I think this is good. Oh, I didn't see my feet. Maybe. <laughs> um, okay, no, I guess this is fine. Here we are. We're gonna do just a quick little haul. The books are in this bag, the music's in this one. Let's just go through these real quick. A lot of these I don't really know. They, I just thought they were cool and I bet I'll like them. Okay, this one, this is totally not gonna play because it's so like scratched up, but this is one of my favorite songs. Um, I think the one I listen to is by the Flamingos, but Art Garfunkel, um, I Only Have Eyes For You. Really awesome. It literally looks like, what is it? Like spackle or what is that? Grout, when you put like in between tile, it looks like that's like smeared into the crevices. So, you know, maybe it'll play, maybe it won't. But she gave me this for free because it's just whatever. It's out and it's, it's not gonna play, but I thought it's cool. So I don't know, I think I still have the piece. I don't know if I have the piece on my record player to be able to play that, but whatever. Um, I found this one, she also gave me for free. It's a Diana Ross album, but it doesn't have the case or the sleeve. No, this is the sleeve. Whatever the cardboard part of it is, probably sleeve, I don't know. She gave it to me for free because it doesn't have it, but the vinyl's in like really good condition still. So at, at least in the store it looks, yeah, it looks like really good, so. Um, okay. This one's Ken Griffin, 
cruising down the river. Um, I got this one mainly because of the art, but it also just seems like it was in like the easy listening like section. What is this stance that I'm in? I look so never mind. Okay, La Paloma by Billy Vaughn and his orchestra. I know. Okay. Um, I don't know who this is by. It just says for you alone. And there's a, there's a woman on the front. Oh, I guess it's by a lot of different people. A lot of different people and their respective orchestras. I think this one's probably jazz or instrumental or something. A music box for Christmas. I think this is just like music box versions of like popular songs, popular Christmas songs. That's fun. Um, I got this one. I got like some Hawaiian music because I thought that'd be fun. Guantanamera. Guantanamera. I don't know how you would say this. But I got two of them and they're both Hawaiian music. And I'm super excited to listen to them. Um, oh, this one's also The Magic Islands. Excuse me. The Magic Islands, also Hawaiian music. Um, oh, the back says something like a cute little, oh, sorry, bud, I hit your nose. Little, I don't know if this is gonna be backwards for you or if I have to reverse it or not, but it says, there's only one Hawaii and fancy. You have all, okay, I'm not gonna read it. I'm gonna stutter too much. And then, <laughs> Hot, Happy, and Honky by Del Wood. I loved the album cover for this, and I bought it because of that. But I think it's going to be fun. I think it might be jazz or polka or... I don't know. But it's going to be fun. Maybe I'll give you a taste. Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll just be for me. My ears only. Sorry. Oh, wait. I was going to stop the video, but I have more to show you. But wait. We're not, we're not done. I got three books. I almost bought four. I've been meaning to get, there's these really cool, like limited covers of, um, like classic books. <clears throat> um, and I've really been wanting to get 1984 by George Orwell in this like, um, thingy. I've tried to read it before, but, um, I'm not the best reader, so I couldn't really get into it, but I still really want to finish it. Um, and I had a really cool cover, so maybe that'll inspire me to read it. I don't know, but I didn't get it this time. I got The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I know nothing about this, um, but I always see... Um, I always see this pop up on, like, Goodreads or, like, other places. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a good one. I got... A Spanish dictionary. Yay! It's used, so it was like, it's a dollar eighty, and it was half off, so it was like some cents. 90 cents. That's what that would be. And then I got Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. Look at, all, look at how decorated. I saw an ad for this or a trailer or something, because I guess there's probably like a movie or... Uh, like a TV show. Oh my gosh. Um, coming out. So, and it looked good. So I got it. I think this will be the one I read next after the one I'm currently reading, which is somewhere else. All right. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for joining me. Um, that was fun. Um, ew, don't look at my nose. That was fun. Um, come with me next time. Um, um, that's it. Bye. Um, this one is, is playing in the background right now.
and it's absolutely beautiful. And also, hold on, let me turn this around. Here, here it is. And I didn't realize that, I mean, I knew that that opened, but this is like a little almost book sort of thing. Look how cool this is. The Magic Islands, Music of Hawaii. Story behind the album. The, look at, ah, it's beautiful. Look how amazing this is. And you can like, I think it like shows the stories behind like the different songs. Tips in speaking Hawaiian. This is so cool. I'm, yeah, so I just wanted to throw that in because I didn't, I didn't give that on my official first review of everything.